Now, if we take a listen to this drum, you can hear there's some ambience going on. Now, that happens automatically. Superior Drummer is intelligent enough to know that when you select a drum, it's going to take a look at your current mic setup and try to bring in the X drum appropriate mics right into those same channels. So really, it's a seamless experience when you bring in X drums. If I hit the snare drum from the Avatar library, I'm actually hearing ambience from that Avatar studio. If I utilize the Music City USA library, we're hearing ambience from the Sound Kitchen studio where this was recorded. If I go into the mixer and I actually solo the ambient mic, again, if I hit the snare drum, that is the Avatar Studios room that you're hearing. And if I click on the X drum, that is the Sound Kitchen room that you are hearing. Now, if I click on microphone assignment, you're going to see a window that comes up that basically allows you to configure the drum mics for the X drum. Now, here's how this works. The left column of microphones is the list of microphones currently used in your main library that is loaded. In this case, that is the Avatar library. And if we take a look at this and compare it with what we see in the mixer, you can see that those microphones are exactly the same. What we have next to them in green is a list of the microphones for the X drum that you have selected. Any of these X drum microphones that are right next to your main loaded library microphones are routed to those microphones, meaning the sound that you hear from your X drum library and the room that it was recorded in is going to be heard through your main library's microphone that it is lined up with. TuneTrack will attempt to do this automatically. If there are any microphones that match, for example, we have snare top and snare top, snare bottom and snare bottom. So those microphones of the X drum will match with the microphones of the loaded library. We also have an ambient near, which is similar to an ambient close. We have an ambient ceiling, which is similar to an ambient far. Now, anything in the right, far right side are unused microphones that for whatever reason didn't seem to line up. So you can see we have an ambient mid in the Avatar library, and we have an ambient mid in the Music City USA library. Depending on which X drum you're loading and the current library you have loaded, you may have many cases where there are microphones that just don't get loaded. Now I can click on this mic, drag it over, place it anywhere I want. Now notice where you'd think you'd want to place it, the ambient mid area, it's grayed out. That is because in the avatar library, all of these microphones that you see that are grayed out were stereo microphones. This particular ambient mid microphone is a mono microphone. Therefore, I can't place it within another library's stereo microphone configuration. All of these microphones lined up, the overhead, the ambient near, and the ambient ceiling, because they are, in fact, stereo microphones, and whereas all of these close instrument microphones are mono microphones. And I can prove this by clicking any one of the mono microphones within the X drum, and notice, if I move it, it's, it will only allow me to route it to other mono microphones. I cannot route it to a stereo microphone. At the same time, if I grab one of these stereo room microphones, for example, the stereo overhead pair, it only allows me to line it up with stereo microphones. So in this case, that is why the ambient mid did not line up. TuneTrack knew that it would typically line up with ambient mid in the avatar library, but since it's not matched, meaning the ambient mid in avatar is stereo and the ambient mid in Music City USA is mono, it decided not to place it anywhere. So I can choose to line it up anywhere else I want, or I can create a brand new microphone in my mixer by dragging this over the new section. And now in blue here, you see any new microphone that you've added. The ambient mid is now sitting in this X drum ambient mid. If I hit okay, I will now see that within my mixer. Now I can solo this microphone hit my auxiliary snare, and I can do that from my instrument panel here since it is selected. And you're not gonna hear anything by default because even though you've routed it and created a new channel in your mixer, you still have to enable that microphone. 
And you do this by opening the edit button within the mixer and selecting the drum within that channel microphone. So now those samples will load. I have this soloed, turn it up just a bit. And now we have the ambient mid as a part of our entire mix. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.